Investigating the Law of Reflection. Year 3, Investigation 2, Light. For this investigation, you need a ray box with a single slit, a mirror, a protractor, a ruler, paper and sharp pencil. You use the ray box to produce a single ray and that ray can be shown and seen on the piece of paper. The mirror is upright on the paper and a line is drawn. That line is placed at the back of the mirror because that's where the reflection takes place. You can see the experimenter here marking off 90 degrees to the line where the mirror is placed. That line is called the normal. All angles are measured with respect to this line, which is called the normal. Here, the experimenter is drawing the lines with a black marker so that you can see them on the video. They have just marked off the line which the mirror will be placed on and labelled it the mirror. The normal is 90 degrees to the mirror. There are a number of rays marked off. These are what you direct the light beam down. And this is the angle of incidence. So here you have it. You have the normal line, which is 90 degrees to the mirror, the angle of incidence, which is marked I, and a line that shows you where you direct the ray of light. The mirror is placed in the correct position. And the ray box, the slit which creates the beam of light, is carefully placed along the line that is drawn. When the lights are turned off, the experiment becomes clear. You can see the reflected ray really clearly. The experimenter places a cross in the middle of the ray that you see. They then continue to do the other angles of incidence that are marked on this diagram. As you may have noticed, the angle of incidence, the angle between the normal and the ray of light really affects the angle of reflection, which is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. Here is the completed experiment. The experimenter has used many angles of incidence that they measured from the normal line and marked off what happened. So we have a clear recording of the angle of reflection. Here is a picture of the completed experiment. The experimenter has measured many angles of incidence. In fact, they've measured 12 angles of incidence. The angle of incidence is this here. So the ray of light was directed across each of these beams. 
Now they have to measure the angle of reflection to the corresponding ray of incidence, which is this angle marked here, R1 for angle of incidence 1, for angle of incidence 2, they need to measure with their protractor angle of reflection 2, and so on. Now, if the experiment has been done carefully, the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. And if the experimenter finds this, then they have proved the law of reflection which is angle I equals angle R. On this diagram, angle I equals angle R, which is marked off. And that is the law of reflection. Here is an example question that tests your knowledge on the law of reflection. Which diagram correctly shows a ray of light reflected by a plane mirror? Is it A, B, C, or D? So the law of reflection is that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. And that angle, either way, is measured from the normal. So A is incorrect because I and R are not equal. B is also incorrect. Since we have a 90 degree angle here, I and R are not equal. C is also incorrect. I and R are not equal. D is the correct answer. Since angle I is 40 degrees and angle R is 40 degrees.